Like I need sports, but at the end of the day, like you guys know we're travelers, we need to get out. What's up, Indy Nation? We're doing something we've always wanted to do. We are going to rally Durham today. I'm really excited to explore the city that we think we might want to move to eventually. I'm from Texas and I've heard North Carolina is really, really nice. So to go and discover like what all this area is about, there's three different universities, it's the state capital, there's like so much to do there. Zach really thinks he's going to love Raleigh. <laughs> also, it's pronounced Raleigh, not Raleigh. Rally. Oh, oops. So. Same as say it right. <laughs> I need to learn. We need to go there to see what it really is like and maybe get this idea out of his head or maybe this will solidify his dreams of moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. First things first, we are getting Bojangles, of course, our new favorite restaurant, especially in the morning. But we pulled up, there's this guy with a dog on a golf cart in true Carolina fashion. The dog is going crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> Welcome to Bojangles, how may I help you today? Hi, can I get pimento cheese on it? We got the goods. Of course, you had to get a combo meal with the hash browns and two different biscuits. So excited. We only have two weeks left in North Carolina and after we leave here, I don't know if I'll ever have a chance to eat Bojangles again because it's not here. I mean, just a look at this, it just, it is so good. Oh, yeah. so good. Just like that, two and a half hours later, we are in Raleigh. I had no idea the city was this big. We came over this hill and the skyline was beautiful. And we just parked where all these little kids are. And I don't wanna have kids with Leah right now, but it's like, this is where the family could start. I don't know, I'm just like, so into this town. And there's literally no reason why. It's just an idea that he has. This place <laughs> is the place to be. driven across town to the industrial part of this town. It's called the Depot, which I didn't know what that was until the, saw the train station that's right there. And apparently this used to be the Depot where you'd come into the city and they've converted it into a chocolate factory, restaurants, other shops. And so right now we're gonna go to the chocolate pickup window and hopefully find a really good chocolate bar. I don't know what we're gonna order. What did we just do? A chocolate bar that was $6, which is very expensive. But it's vegan, allergen free. That's a thick piece of chocolate. Mm. Mm. It's definitely not that good, I can tell. Why? Because you're you're like, nope. Well, it's just really thick. It's got like those really rich chocolate tones. You know, it's not like it's kinda hard. Which makes me think there's not like milk fat in it. Well it's vegan, so obviously not. But Six dollars may not be the price I'd be willing to pay for this, but this is really cool nonetheless. Tell That's them what you deal. just said. This is the real deal. Leah doesn't appreciate confectionery stuff like I do because I used to bake sweets all the time. She doesn't get any more of this chocolate bar because it took her like eight bites to realize that it's actually good. I'm really sad that I didn't know. I don't know what good chocolate tastes like. I didn't know I was unworthy of a six dollar chocolate bar. And Why are you vlogging and driving? <laughs> so an idea we had was to make a whole video about Carolina barbecue, but instead I think we're more excited just to explore Raleigh. But we do want to get some barbecue while we're here. So the most famous place to get barbecue in Raleigh is Clyde Cooper's, and it looks like it's all boarded up, but it also may be open. So we're gonna go see. Cool order. It's really close. Man. Hey y'all, we're back in serving. That being said, if our door is locked, we had to close early due to downtown being a ghost town and losing money, we are sorry. Aww. That's a bummer. But, you know, these are the times. I'm assuming Raleigh is usually in non-corona times. Really hopping. I guess they took the shutdown seriously, like most people should. Yeah. 
We just have bad timing with this trip, I yeah, suppose, it's but it's still really cute. We were in Asheville two weeks ago and it was packed and that's the same state. So our eating plans here in Raleigh have gotten a little askew, but Zach is excited about Raleigh and he hasn't mentioned this yet because they have so many different sports teams. So we're going to go tour around the city trying to find each stadium. He's afraid to talk about it for some reason because he thinks it's boring, but I think it's really cool because he thinks it's really cool. So let's go. Sports. Here's a 30 second version. They have the North Carolina Wolfpack here. They also have the Carolina Hurricanes, which is a hockey team, which is like crazy because Raleigh's not a town that's actually that big, so it's crazy they can sustain a hockey team. And then we're going to go to the University of North Carolina and then we're going to go to Duke University. It's three huge sports teams all in a small area. So basically, the stadium tour ends here because I would just be showing you guys a lot of big buildings. And now we're driving around neighborhoods because after all, we are looking for houses here. That's where we're looking to live here. Do they have the houses that we need? Do we have the sports team that we need? First and Jeez. foremost, sports. <laughs> they need to have the sports. <laughs> no, they need to have a good downtown area. I will you say, know. I do, I've always said that I want to end up in a college town. And this is like the ultimate. Are we actually looking for a house right now? No. But it is fun to look at them. All right, and now we've made it to the other most important thing. Well, this is like, one and two is the airport. Like I need sports, but at the end of the day, like you guys know we're travelers, we need to get out. Like we need to be able to leave like that. So one of the reasons Raleigh Durham's on the list is because it's one of the fastest growing airports in the nation. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, not compared to growth from like JFK and Los Angeles, but it's more like of a small, small market. Yeah. It. It's growing really fast. That's pretty crazy. Overall, this airport passed a test. There's like a whole separate terminal for Southwest Airlines. It goes straight to Dallas. And then there's a terminal with every place like so many destinations. So I think this airport passed the test. Now on to Durham for some barbecue. It's like four o'clock, she still hasn't fed me. I don't Who know what's me? up. And now we have finally made it on Duke University. We are in Durham, North Carolina. We are 20 minutes away from Raleigh and this is the Mecca of basketball. Cameron Indoor Stadium only holds 3,000 people, but it gets crazy packed in here because this university truly cares about basketball. We gotta get to the university and show you this crazy looking castle that's on campus. another barbecue place that I had done research on and it was closed too. So we quickly looked on the map and realized like you could eat on campus. So we are here on campus and we've got rice bowls and we're sitting right in front of the chapel. So this is just like the perfect night. It's the perfect temperature. This is the perfect meal. It smells so good. Great day in Durham. This is some gourmet mm. college food. Mm, mm, mm. Best college food, best college cafeteria I've ever seen, ever. That meal was so good to sit in front of the castle. I guess you guys are right. It's not really it's a, a castle. Yeah, it is <laughs> the Duke Chapel. Campus has been amazing. Thank you so much for spending your day with us house hunting. I don't <laughs> even know what we're, I just, I really wanted to move to Raleigh Durham for a long time. Ever since I met this guy in Washington that was like, yeah, I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And I was like, what is that? And they told me about the research triangle and how there's all this, these cool jobs here and like startups everywhere. And there's nature and that's what Leah wants. And so it's just like a no brainer basically. And so this was kind of our, what happens after travel video because we're hunting yeah. for that life because we don't really know what that is because we love to travel. Yes. So that's why the airport was important. That's why the sports teams were important. That's why college campuses for some reason are important. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of life here. 
yeah. at these campuses and like that's what I really like when I travel and when I'm in America. Like that's why I love Vietnam so much is because the streets are packed with so many people. I get that. And we're, just to be clear, nowhere near settling down anywhere. But I think Raleigh would be a really cool place to settle down when and if we're ready. Yeah, if we're ready. So we never made a video like this before. Thank you guys so much for tagging along with us and like, I don't know. Just watching. Yeah, discovering all the weird things we're discovering at the same time we're discovering it, so. So um, in conclusion, Raleigh Durham is really cool. Raleigh has a really awesome downtown. We wish we could have spent more time there. We wish we could have eaten delicious barbecue there. Durham is equally as cool. It has an amazing campus here on Duke University's campus. So it's just really cool.